So if you don't want to see it, that's big. That's almost everywhere. Uh, this is the 2012 State Fair. It's the 131st Fair. Uh, this one might be a run if all the other ones are Uh, the Birthing Center is the Maryland State Fair's attempt to bring something that most people don't see these days, and that is the birth of farm animals uh, to the general public. So what Dr. Hartog is doing now is in the bucket is a sterile solution. Uh, he has chains right there that he will attach around the legs of the cat, and you can pull it. And we will pull it out if necessary. It looks like we probably are. That's why he's attaching them. So if he's attaching them, I'm assuming that they're front feet. I haven't seen it yet, but he's front feet. So they are front feet. Wait, wait. One, two. One, two. One, somebody. So Dr. Rock's like Dave and Sid do it. And here you go, Dave, I'll pump you out for you. And here it comes. The birthing center, we feature three species. We have dairy cattle, uh, swine, and hatching chicks. The dairy cattle produce all sorts of dairy products in addition to milk. This year, chocolate milk, uh, white milk, and several uh, really exotic and delicious flavors of ice cream made by Kilby Cream were featured here at the Maryland State Fair. Our uh, pork producers also have an exhibit during part of the fair. There are broiler chicks, the kind that are used to produce uh, fried chicken. And of course, there's a booth here that sells uh, poultry products as well, not just chickens, but turkey products as well. Uh, we are all animal science students at the University of Maryland. My students are uh, what make this so much fun. They are undergraduates who are studying animal science and are looking forward to careers as veterinarians, farm managers, managers of animal facilities. There's no classes at any university that offer this much experience. They participate in helping 24 cows give birth to calves. Uh, over his 14 pigs this year had litters and we hatched over 300 chicks. Uh, this is an incredible reproductive physiology uh, working lab for these students. An average Wolfgang can make over 80 pounds of milk a day. That's the total bathtub. So if you don't know the cow is going to cause her mammary gland and blue, which means she'll stop producing milk after a while. And in a dairy industry, you want to keep producing milk, so you're going to milk her. Honestly, it's been really interesting talking to the public. And I've learned that they, you know, they really don't know, and they are interested. So I think they really don't understand that producers really do have the animals' uh, best interest in mind. Um, everyone just sees uh, slaughter; they're killing the animals, not treating them right. But when they're in our care, we are pretty much all the time trying to make sure that they're happy and healthy, because it makes for better production and happier farmers. I have a lot of jobs. Uh, the biggest one is just to assist with the birthing of the calves and the piglets and also to work with some of the chicks that we hatch throughout the fair. Um, but also a lot of what I do is talk to the public about birthing and about animal husbandry and try to educate them about everything that goes on. Um, well, I'd like to be a large animal veterinarian and as a vet, a lot of what you need to be able to do is to work with animals who are birthing. So to have the hands-on experience is extremely important. Well, we love to recruit, and I'm proud to be part of the University of Maryland. Uh, our dean attends several of our births every year, uh, and I'm, of course, a, a great promoter of our program because we have a great academic situation for uh, students who want careers in agriculture, particularly uh, veterinary medicine and, and professional careers. So I would encourage any, any child that's interested in a career in agriculture to consider the University of Maryland. Uh, we appreciate the support of the Maryland State Fair to make this happen and uh, the support of the University of Maryland and their students in, uh, in making this work.
So they have to grow up quickly, they have to get fast, they have to learn how to take care of themselves. In other words, they have to become grown up really fast. Is that enough?